Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In today's video, I will show you how to configure and install Eaton Gigabit Network Card M2. Let's start the video. Eaton Gigabit Network Card The Eaton Gigabit Network Card, Network M2, is Eaton's latest UPS network management card that delivers IT professionals with new and exciting capabilities and features. With better speed and cybersecurity, the Gigabit Network Card improves business continuity by providing warnings of pending issues to administrators and helping to perform orderly shutdown of servers and storage. Here is Gigabit Network Card M2. It has one network port, one USB port, one setting port. Here is switch for reset the card and these are two LEDs for status of the card. Eaton Gigabit Network Card M2 feature. Provide UPS control and self-test. Provide data and event logs. Enable to set up notifications through event logging. Provide support for power shutdown remotely. Supports using a DHCP. Provide a selection of security protocols for authentication. How to install the network management card. I have Eaton 5PX1500 VA UPS, here is its back view. For connecting Gigabit Network Card we do not need to turn off the UPS power. This UPS has following connection. Here is UPS's input 220 volt socket. Here is UPS's output 220 volt sockets, it have 8 output sockets. Here is connector for external battery. Here we can install network card. Just remove cover and insert the card into the slot. I have this Eaton 5PX1500. Press menu. Select identification. Select IP version 4, you can see there is no any IP address. Here is input and output voltage. That is model tag Eaton 5PX1500. Here is back view of UPS. Here is gigabit network card slot. That is remote power on connector, here is USB port and here is RS-232 connector. Here is output port. That is input port end. That is external battery connector. I have new gigabit network card M2. The Gigabit Network Card M2 package include Here is micro USB configuration cable It is Network Management Card And here is Installation Manual Now remove the slot cover. Insert card into slot. Status LED just light it up. Connect micro USB configuration cable with console port. And connect other side of the cable with PC or laptop. Now open network and internet setting. Ethernet. Change adapter setting. Here is ethernet connection. Right click properties. Click internet protocol version 4. Click on use following IP address. 169.254.0.1 That is Eaton default IP address for the Gigabit Network Card. Subnet mask 255.255.255.0. OK. Open any internet browser. 
and browse IP address 169.254.0.1. Click on Advance Process 169.254.0.1 Unsafe Here is login page The default username and password is admin admin Click on Login Please change your password before continuing The current password policy you to change your password When you first login, you must change your default password Current Password Admin New Password Admin 12345 Repeat New Password Admin 12345 We need special characters Click on Continue Enter Username Admin And Password Admin at 12345 Login I accept the license agreement. If you have time then please read the agreement. But I will click on continue. Here is home page of Eaton UPS. That is UPS status. ABR giving power to the load and battery is getting charge. No load is connected. Output showing 0 watt. And here is battery time remaining. Primary unprotected 0 watt. Group 1 unprotected 0 watt Group 2 unprotected 0 watt Click on meters Frequency 60 Hz Voltage 208.4 volts Output, frequency 60 Hz, voltage 208.4 volts Power and current are 0 watt because no load is connected Click on controls Here is UPS input supply Switch on and safe off. Click on safe off. This will shut off the load. Protected application will be safely shut down. Continue. Shut down in 2 minutes and 14 seconds. You can see this. Offline mode. Load not protected. And both group 1 add group 2 off. Now click on switch on. Start up in 5 seconds. UPS is on now and both outlets group on protected. Click on protection. From here we can schedule the shutdown. Click on card. That is card name. Product Gigabit Network Card Physical Name Eaton Gigabit Network Card Vendor Eaton And here is firmware information Not Sensor is connected Administration Information System Log Click here for download system logs Click on Setting Location Room number 10 Contact UPS Department System name UPS 01 And save information Click on date and time Set time zone and date Save User If you need any new user then add user but I do not need Here is password strength We can set its strength No activity time out 15 minutes Session lease time 120 minutes
protocol. Here we can change the HTTPS protocol port. SNMP. Check enable. Click on edit button. Community name public. Status active. Access read only. And save. Certificates. Email. If you want to send email then use the setting but I do not want to send any email. Now click on network. That is most important setting of the UPS. Here is IP version 4 setting. And here is IP version 6 setting. But still we are using IP version 4. Click on more button. By default DHCP is enable. Click on down arrow button. Manual and change IP address IP address 192.168.43.201 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 gateway 192.168.43.254 save save now card will restart now gigabit card restart card is reboot now connect patch cable with computer or laptop's LAN port. And other side of the patch cable connect with UPS's LAN port. Right click on Ethernet. Properties. Click Internet Protocol version 4. And click on Properties. Click on Use following IP address. Write same network IP address we use in Eaton UPS. 192.168.43.100 Subnet mask 255.255.255.0 Default gateway 192.168.43.254 OK Open new window And browse IP address 192.168.43.201 Advance. Proceed to 192.168.43.201 Unsafe. Enter username admin. Password. Log on. You can see the home page of the Eaton UPS. I just removed the input power supply. UPS is on battery mode. And here is the alarm status input AC not present. Input frequency out of range. Battery discharging. On battery. You can also see the status of the AVR not getting input power. But UPS getting power from battery. Click on meters now main utility is absent. But output is present. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Star Technology 5G. Please like and share the video.